NVIDIA reveals leap forward in AI robot simulation. NVIDIA's Isaac Sim is the world's most advanced intelligent robotic simulation and synthetic data generation platform, and it will now be offering its state-of-the-art artificial intelligence, simulation software, and accelerated compute capabilities from the cloud. To add to this, NVIDIA has also announced that Isaac Sim just added several new features, including advancements in Isaac Jim for reinforcement learning and Isaac Cortex for collaborative robot programming, as well as a new tool called Isaac Orbit, which provides simulation operating environments and benchmarks for intelligent robot learning and motion planning. Also, as humans increasingly work alongside collaborative robots, known as cobots or autonomous mobile robots, NVIDIA has added intelligent simulations of human behavior in order to ensure the safety and efficiency of these systems with simulated human characters performing various behaviors, like stacking packages or pushing carts in a warehouse or manufacturing facility. These human simulations in Isaac Sim ensure the smooth integration of cobots and autonomous mobile robots into real-world environments. Furthermore, to ensure that simulation results are as close to the real world as possible, NVIDIA has also enabled the use of physically accurate sensor models by upgrading to use its RTX technology to render physically accurate data from sensors in real time, which is particularly useful for simulating LiDAR sensors, as ray tracing can provide more accurate sensor data under different lighting conditions or when interacting with reflective materials. In addition to accurate sensor models, Isaac Sim also includes a variety of simulation-ready 3D assets to help users quickly build physically accurate simulated environments like warehouse parts and popular robots. Also, to make it easier for developers to use when working with the robot operating system, Isaac Sim has upgraded its support for ROS2 Humble and Windows. But what's the easiest way to make new 3D models for these simulations? Enter a breakthrough open-source AI called Dream3D that anyone can use without needing 3D design skills. Dream3D is a tool that converts text descriptions into detailed 3D models using stable diffusion, clip, and neural radiance fields. The use of generative AI models for creating 3D shapes from text descriptions has been a significant area of research, with Google recently introducing Dreamfields, which uses clip and nurse to synthesize 3D shapes from text. Clip helps a Nerf network build a representation of the text description. Meanwhile, artificial intelligence researchers at Concordia University in Canada have recently developed ClipMesh, which is a similar method that doesn't use neural radiance fields. Google also released DreamFusion, an improved version of DreamFields that uses Google's Imogen image model instead of Clip. Other notable generative 3D AI models include NVIDIA's own Get3D, as well as Point E from OpenAI. Dream 3D works by combining clip, stable diffusion, a 3D generator, and neural radiance fields to create the 3D models. What's different is that the Dream 3D text input is first processed by a fine-tuned stable diffusion model to generate a rendering style image. This image is then transformed into a 3D shape by another AI model, and unlike other approaches, only the part of the text input relevant to the central shape is used in this process. For example, if the input is a park bench overgrown by vines, only a park bench would be used. The resulting 3D shape is then used to initialize the neural radiance field, which is optimized using clip guidance and the full text input, similar to other methods. The research team claims that Dream 3D is significantly better than older methods like Dream Fields, Pure Clip Nerf, and Clip Mesh. The Nerf renderings produced by Dream 3D are highly detailed and accurately reflect the text inputs. The benefit of using the generated 3D shape to initialize the neural radiance field is evident. However, the research team does not directly compare Dream 3D to Google's recent Dream Fusion method. The AI researchers say they hope to improve it by adding better 3D priors to the system, which will expand its capabilities to more types of objects. Aside from the cutting edge in simulations for AI robots and text-to-3D modeling, NVIDIA also announced the integration of its new and simplified AI-driven avatar creation technology using its Omniverse Avatar Cloud Engine, which it calls ACE. It includes pre-built artificial intelligence models, toolsets, and domain-specific reference applications, as well as avatar applications built on various engines and deployable on public or private clouds.
NVIDIA's 3D animation artificial intelligence microservice allows third-party avatars to be brought to life using Omniverse audio to face generative AI in rendering tools such as Unreal Engine. This technology allows for the creation of realistic facial animations from just an audio file. A 2D animation AI microservice called Live Portrait allows for the easy animation of 2D portraits or stylized human faces using live video feeds. Additionally, NVIDIA's text-to-speech microservice uses Riva text-to-speech to synthesize natural-sounding speech from raw transcripts without any additional information, such as speech patterns or rhythms. Google unveils breakthrough artificial intelligence that beats open AI. A new artificial intelligence model called Muse from Google can quickly generate high-quality images that effectively represent text and concepts. The transformer-based generative image artificial intelligence from Google Research produces images that are comparable to current models, but is reportedly more efficient than other diffusion models like DALI-2 from OpenAI, Stable Diffusion, and autoregressive models like Google Party. Muse is able to generate images that are just as high-quality, varied, and accurately aligned with text as those produced by Stable Diffusion 1.4, Party 3B, and Imogen. However, it is able to do it much more quickly, taking only 1.3 seconds at 512 by 512 pixel resolution to generate an image compared to 3.7 seconds for Stable Diffusion 1.4. Google's Muse researchers achieved this speed increase through the use of a compressed discrete latent space and parallel decoding. For text comprehension, Muse utilizes a pre-trained D5 language model that has been specifically trained on text-to-text -text tasks. The team has indicated that Muse processes an entire text prompt rather than just focusing on certain keywords. Muse's new architecture allows for a variety of image editing tasks to be performed without the need for additional fine-tuning or inversion of the model. Objects within an image can be replaced or modified simply through a prompt, without the need for masking. In testing by human evaluators, Muse's images were judged as being more suitable for text input in around 70% of cases compared to those produced by Stable Diffusion 1.4. Muse is also reportedly above average at incorporating predefined words into images, such as adding a phrase to a t-shirt, and its precision and accuracy in placing and coloring predefined image elements as specified in the prompt is a feat that is not always achievable with current image AI systems. The researchers in Google have not yet indicated a timeframe for the release of the image model to compete with OpenAI's DALI-2 or MidJourney. At present, only Google's Imogen is available in a limited pre-release version in the United States. Like many researchers working on AI systems for language and images, the team behind Muse has acknowledged that the technology has the potential to cause harm, including reproducing social biases and spreading misinformation, depending on how it is used. As a result, the team has chosen not to publish the code or make a demonstration that is publicly available.